Welcome to the Scorpio Wolf Tarot. This is your host, JC, aka Mr. Scorpio Wolf. Thank you for joining me today. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take what's yours and leave the rest for someone else. These readings are meant to be timeless, so whenever you're meant to see and hear them, that is when you're meant to see and hear them. And in order to save time, I have gone ahead and shuffled and laid out the cards for you. That being said, let's get to your reading. So the main energy going into October is the Moon card. That energy is crossed by the Nine of Swords. In the past position, we have the Fool card. And for potential future outcomes, I have the Star card. So let's look at the cards individually to see what the universe is trying to tell us for the month of October for you, Aquarius. Let's first look at your main energy card. So for the month of October, Aquarius, I kind of feel that you are involved in complicated romance. You have uncertainties when it comes to love and relationships. And not everything is as it appears. There is a lot of misunderstandings at this time. So I feel you guys are going to be looking into the bottom of this. Beware the intentions of others and understand your own emotions, desires, and motivation. There could be old attitudes, beliefs, and ideas that are clouding your judgment. Your subconscious may be affecting your ability to accept love. And I kind of feel that past relationships are haunting you. So you're questioning yourself. Are you truly worthy of love? That develops doubt and negative thoughts to enter into our mindset. Now is the time to examine these issues and approach them and reveal them for what they truly are. So what is the challenge in energy with this? In the challenge position, we have the Nine of Swords. You may be filled with anxieties and fears at this time. You may be struggling with guilt, remorse, insecurity, trusting of your partner, or mental health issues at this time. This is a time to truly understand yourself and whether these feelings are really, truly rational. This card tends to suggest that the fears are not as terrible as they are in your head. And you need to open your eyes and face these fears head on. Because only that when you do that can you really work through these issues. Aquarius, you have to deal with these feelings and work through them before going into another relationship. So what happened in the past? In the past position, we have the Fool card. And as the card suggests, you may feel that your past relationship made you look like a fool. In that past relationship, I feel that you were bright-eyed, trusting, very trusting nature. You kind of threw caution to the wind. You were very optimistic when it came to love. You loved the idea of, of being in love, which made you not see the red flags. And for the most of you Aquarius out there, I feel that your past partner was a little bit immature. They weren't ready to handle the truly loving relationship you had to offer them. Which, of course, left you with a lot of heartbreak, anxiety, fears about relationships and love. In the potential outcome, we have the star card. Aquarius, you are healing from these past wounds. But as you heal, your views of your love life will change. You will be more optimistic about your love life. I feel that hope and love will eventually come back to you again. And with that healing and new sense of hope, in optimism, it will attract many potential suitors to you. You are on your way to building up your confidence and you will move on from your past relationships. If you guys are currently in a relationship, learn to communicate with one another. Be honest with one another. Doing so will bring you closer than you've ever been before. And that concludes your reading for the month of October. That is all I have for you today, Aquarius. Thank you for listening to this month's love reading. If this reading resonated with you, please let us know in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you so much, Aquarius, and I'll see you guys next month.